टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिकार्स रूल ऑफ साइंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रीड इट्स स्टेटमेंट द पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ पॉजिटिव रूल्स ऑफ ए पॉलिनोम इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ साइंस चेंजेस इन द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ द टर्म और लेस देन द साइन चेंजेस बाय ए मल्टीपल ऑफ टू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस लाइन साइन चेंजेस इन द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ टर्म्स सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन पॉलिनोम सो लेट अस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लेट अवर पॉलिनोम इज एक्स क्यू प्लस थ्री एक्स के माइनस एक्स माइनस एक्स फोर माइनस टू बट दिस पॉलिनोम इज नॉट इन इट्स जनरल फॉर्म सो वी हैव टू री अरेंज दिस पॉलिनोम नाउ आफ्टर री अरेंजिंग द पॉलिनोम द लीडिंग कॉफिशेंट ऑफ दिस पॉलिनोम इज माइनस वन देर फोर इट्स फर्स्ट साइन इज नेगेटिव द सेकेंड साइन इज पॉजिटिव द थर्ड साइन इज पॉजिटिव द फोर्थ साइन इज नेगेटिव द लास्ट साइन इज नेगेटिव अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल वी हैव टू फाइंड द साइन चेंजेस इन द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ द टर्म्स नाउ वेन वी गोज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टर्म टू सेकेंड टर्म वी नोटिस दैट साइन चेंजेस फ्रॉम नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव After that, we will goes from second term to third term, but sign will not change. After that, we will goes from third term to fourth term, the sign will change. And after that, sign will not change. So we have two sign changes in the coefficient of terms. Now, what is the meaning of less than the sign changes by multiple of two? Suppose that the total number of sign changes is equal to six. Then, according to the rule, the total number of positive root is, is equal to six minus two zero is equal to six, or the total number of positive roots are six minus two dot one. That is. Four or six minus two dot two, that is two, or six minus two dot three, that is zero. So there are many possibilities according to the rule uh, for the total number of positive roots of the given polynomial. We will not include the case six minus two dot four because minus two is a negative number. and we are going to calculate the number of positive roots and that cannot be negative now suppose the total number of sign changes are is equal to 5 then the total number of positive roots are 5 minus 2 dot 0 is equal to 5 or the total number of positive roots are 5 minus 2 dot 1 is equal to 3 Or total number of positive roots are five minus two dot two is equal to one. So there are many possibilities. Again, we will not include the case five minus two dot three because this is a negative number. Now we will return to our given example. We have two sign changes. Therefore, the total number of positive roots are two minus two dot zero is equal to two, or Total number of positive roots are two minus two dot one is equal to zero. So two, the polynomial has two positive zeros, or the polynomial has no positive zero. So this is the uh, our result. Now how can how can we calculate the negative roots? Note that. to calculate the negative roots we have a relation the number of negative roots of fx is equal to number of positive roots of f minus x now given fx is this we will change x to minus x and we can easily find f minus x and that is minus x4 minus x cube plus 3x square plus x minus 2 Now leading coefficient of this polynomial is minus one and second coefficient is minus one, so uh, sign will not change.
when we goes from first term to second term but when we goes from second term to third term the sign will change here sign is negative here is positive after that uh, when we goes from third term to fourth term sign will not change and from fourth to fifth the sign will change so here total sign changes are again two therefore total number of positive roots of f minus x are two minus two dot zero that is two or two minus two dot one that is zero so total number of positive roots may be two or may be zero therefore number of negative roots of using above relation we can say that number of negative roots of fx are two or zero